hello 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 and welcome back to the channel so before we get started i want to say i have no clue what the hell i'm doing but i want to change the aesthetic of my home screen because i've been seeing it and i absolutely love it okay so with that being said i don't know what i'm doing we're gonna learn together so one thing i want to do is go into the app store and i want to download color widget because that's what i've seen everybody using all right so i'm gonna go to color widgets you see is really popular right now and i'm assuming it's this one because that's the one that i think i saw all right i just got color widgets and i'm just gonna have that there okay so one thing i want to do is go to google and you can see i already looked it up black and pink aesthetic pictures and this is just going to um be somewhat of a guide as to what I want on my home screen. So I'm going to save this image and you're going to see what I do with these pictures later on. They're going to be like um, my shortcut icons. So these are beautiful. I'm sorry that my phone seems to want to keep highlighting stuff. I don't know, but I'm just saving random photos that I like and I think I'm good. This is the last one that I'm going to save. I was going to do black and white, but I might just do black and pink. I might do a mixture of both. As you can see, all right, I'm tired of the Democrats texting me. Okay, I got email. It'll take me right to my email. I have the gram. It'll take me right to the gram. All right, so... I'm going to exit out of those. Let's just exit out of everything, okay? All right. Yes, I was playing Call of Duty, okay? All right. So, <laughs> now I'm going to go over to the widget screen, and I'm going to see. I did make some reminders here. So, in my reminders, I put be kind, inspire, stay focused, and love out loud. I'm going to try to find a way to get this to be bigger, but... I'm going to remove this widget because I don't know what it, oh, it's a shortcut. So I am going to edit my widgets and I'm going to go to the ad up here. And I don't know how to put a specific photo that I want because they keep showing me old photos of Delory. Like, why? So, I don't know, maybe I can go in and change it, but I'm just going to do this one for now. And I'm going to delete that reminder one. And I'm going to see if I can add it back, but cuter. Because they really, they really not making it. All right, here we go. This is the one that I want. And I also want, um, I do want the weather... Um, I do want the short stack, but I might move that down. Not really sure yet. So I might not even do the photos. Let's remove that one. Let's just go ahead and remove it. And um, let's go ahead and add a shortcut just to see if it'll do what I kind of wanted to do. So we have email and then they're just showing me different ones. So I'm going to add this one specifically. But it, again, it's not really doing what I want it to do. So I am going to click a different shortcut. Hmm. I, maybe I can choose which one I want in there. The gram. Like, it's doing what I want it to do. But then again, it's it's not, if that makes sense. Like, and because over here on, like, the home screen, you can see the gram is, like, that little photo window. And in order to do that, I'll take you into shortcuts right now and show you how I did that. So what I did was I added a new shortcut. I mean, let's just do something apps and let's do 
FaceTime. I'm just going to click FaceTime. I'm gonna go to next and I'm gonna I want it short. I'm gonna click on the actual icon. I'm gonna go pink and I'm gonna just find a glyph that I want. And um we'll do this one here. And I'm going to go to done. So then I'm going to click the three dots on FaceTime. And I'm going to click the three dots here. I'm going to click on the actual icon. Well, I'm actually going to click add to home screen. And then I'm going to click on the icon that has the blue outline here. And I'm going to put choose photo. And let's say for FaceTime, I wanted it to be hmm, this one here. And just do it like that. Crop it. Add it. Everybody keeps calling me. I don't know why. I don't know if y'all saw it because I did get a phone call. But what we did was we clicked three dots. We clicked add to home screen. We clicked on the icon here. We clicked choose photo. We choose the photo. Crop it how you want it. Choose it and add it and press done. And that's pretty much how I got it to look like this here. Okay. So I did it twice for you. Um, I don't, I kind of want it to look like this, but I want it to be over here, if that makes sense. But honestly, I don't know. I think I can add, okay, I figured it out. <laughs> so I can't add it onto my widget screen, but I see what people were doing they were making it on its own page so i'm gonna move all of these over and i'll just create um shortcuts for them later on um these are the main things that i keep on one screen i do not like busy screens that's why i only have two okay i only have two so this is what people were doing they were going here long press the screen press add and then they were adding their widgets okay I thought I was crazy, but no, people weren't telling me <laughs> how to do it. So this is what they were doing. I'm going to have that one there. I'm going to add another widget and I'm going to do, um, I don't know about that one. I'm going to actually go into, oh, I'm so sorry if you guys, if I kind of faded out, I forgot I was recording the sound on my computer. So I'm going to go into done and I'm going to go into color widgets so with color widgets you can do really cute ones you can theme them out all of that good stuff so I'm going to do this one I'm going to go to edit I like I like buttercup okay so I'm going to choose the font I want I like that font I also like that font um we're going to do Okay, so I clearly just changed the background. I can use my own picture, which that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use Inspire. And I'm going to see if I can change anything else. Um, I'm going to set that. Follow the instructions in the question mark button. D did y'all see that? Because I didn't. Well, let's see. All right, I don't really know. I'm just going to try to add it, add widget, and oh, snap. Oh, shit, yeah. All right, I'm really excited because I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, So with that being said, bear with me, okay? So let's see. I mean, that's really the only widget I guess I would make on there. I could make it bigger. Um, it doesn't seem to have anything else. It honestly just, it's the date, your battery percentage, and things like that. So I wouldn't, you know, add anything else here. It did change my photo back, which I don't mind, but I think I did that by mistake, okay? So we're going to go back to edit, and I'm going to change the font once more. 
and I'm going to add the photo. Um, I actually think I want to do this photo. And I'm going to set that widget. And then I'm going to go to the home screen. And there we go. So I do really, really like that. And if you click it, it would just be you. And you can edit this photo anytime you want to. It gives you the time there. Battery percentage, which is good because who wants to do all of that just to get the percentage. Um, I really like this. Uh, and I'm going to actually go in here. Edit. Okay, sorry. I actually need to go in shortcuts and edit that. So that was email. So I'm going to go back into shortcuts. I'm going to go back into edit email. Click these three dots and edit the photo here to make it black and pink to go in with the rest of my um, theme over here. So we're going to do that one instead of the black one. And we're going to click done. When we go out, it should actually create a new one um, clearly as it just did. So we're going to delete that one and we're going to move this one over there. So what I'm going to do is edit the rest of my phone and show you guys basically a speed through of me editing and choosing basically what, um, you know, let you see what I'm going to do, but in fast time, basically adding widgets and things like that. Okay, so I've tried to change the picture widget, but it keeps bringing me like to an older picture. So I'm going to see if I can add it like this big one here. Like I could do that, but I didn't want it to be that one. Um, I actually wanted a different photo of myself, but y'all, they really playing with me. Okay. All right. I'm going to just do that one right there. Um, I think it goes with the vibe with the pink record player and things like that. This one I'm gonna delete. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is change the wallpaper um, and I'm going to change it to one of my aesthetic photos. So you see my lock screen is something different from my home screen. So I'm gonna choose a new one from my recents. And I think I want to go with the moon, but I really, really like the scraper, but I really like the moon. Um, I want it all the way out. So I just feel like, why is my dog barking? What's going on with you, sis? Oh, she's dreaming. Mmm. All right, this shouldn't be such a hard choice, but let's see if I go with the moon. Matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is make it. So I'm gonna go to photo grid, allow access to photos. I'm gonna choose the moon. Next, we are going to change the ratio and go into device and Check that we want the background to actually be chosen directly from the black on the photo. And I'm going to zoom it out um, and have it like kind of in an upper corner. And for the background, I'm going to try to get that. 
So what I could also do for the background is make the background the same photo. And um, I could, I was gonna try to zoom it in. Like you see how I did it there, just kind of laid it on top of the moon because they won't let me zoom the background in. So I'm just gonna lay this moon on top of that moon and make it a little bit bigger just like that so gonna do that there then go into wallpaper and cancel this one select the new one and put the zoom off I don't need it and make sure it's zoomed all the way out and that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna set that for both Okay, so then I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to edit these once more and I'm going to actually just move it down and move this over so that the apps, you know, the moon can kind of be seen. So I'm also going to do, um, I'm going to change, hold on, I'm going to change the background here and I'm going to do that one and I'm trying to just see which one I like the most no I don't I'm not gonna like that on the aesthetic of it all I like that one um so then I'm just gonna go ahead and make some more shortcuts and I'll go ahead and speed through all of those and that will pretty much be done, you know, what basically all we have here. And I also, I know it's one more that I want to add and that was the reminders. And I wanted to make it this one. And I want it at the bottom. Um, that's it. So I'm gonna go into reminders and see if I can change. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't liking the color. So I think that's kind of all I can change there. And I'm going to go ahead and do the reminders and I'm going to use that one instead. And I'm going to put it here at the bottom. And um, I'm going to keep it like that. And I do want to see if there's like more widgets that we can add. Like say I did want to add the smart stack. Would I be able to do it like at the bottom or is there? Oh, they would make a new screen. Okay. I just wanted to see that. So with that being said, we're going to keep that there. We're going to go ahead and add one more thing that I do frequently. So I have FaceTime, Instagram, email, and I'm going to go into shortcuts and I'm gonna add a new one and I don't know, I'm gonna see. Um, let's go ahead and do, um, Twitter. All right, Twitter, next. All right, so for tweet, that's where I use the Inspire photo and I'm going to oh y'all y'all could have told me I did that already so I'm gonna fix the email one and change that to something else so I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to add this to home screen I'm gonna change the photo to hold on let me see what's on the home screen already all right, I'm going to change it to the fact that I just looked at this and still don't know. All right, so I'm going to do Dang. Who knew it would be this hard? Yo. Yo, I can't get a break ever. So I'm going to do that one and click done and I'm gonna move 
girl, like this is this ain't this ain't that. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to do not disturb. Um, I'm gonna delete that, and I'm gonna use this one. And that's it. So I really, really like how this turned out. Um, I think it's dope. I do love the whole customization. And honestly, this is the thing where it's like, I would, I'm going to change this around. I'm going to actually delete this while I'm thinking, seeing it right now. But this is more like the other things. Like I can unlock my front door and check the weather and do all of that stuff. But this is going to be like my main thing here. And I'm not going to have doubles, so I'm going to remove that one. Um, so I think that's really cool. And it does give you like that Android customization feel. And that was one reason why like five years ago, I didn't want to switch from Android. I think it was five years ago. I don't know. But ever since I did switch to Apple, I did like it. But I did not want to switch because I felt like it didn't have um, a bunch of customization. So now that it does... I am going to love it. Um, I'm going to edit this and just put this into utilities. And I'm going to add a folder. That's not how you do it. I'm going to add a folder for like my important stuff that I do really frequently. Put that one in there and I'm gonna rename it to important so that's what I'm gonna do there um, I'm gonna put social work work social utilities all right so that's how I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna add a widget at the top and see if I like that, um, okay. I was just saying if I liked it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I can put a smart stack. gonna keep that there and then that's it i only have two screens and then you have this that's new right here we have all of your apps your app library then my main screen with all of my apps categorized then my widget screen and four of my top apps as well um and then my reminders and then over here is just the widget section which is super dope so that is what i decided to do hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope it kind of showed you some ways that you can customize your phone so y'all, shout out to, oh wait, let me go find it. Fashionably Curved 20. She told me how to customize the bottom bar because y'all know I didn't like it. Or maybe I didn't tell y'all, but I was selling Twitter and Instagram. So let me show y'all something real quick. It's just going to be edit home screen. So y'all know, if y'all put that down there, it'll be down there. Um, and then what you would do is click the minus and remove it. And it's still going to be in like your app library, which is right here. So that's cool. And then what I'm going to do is the same thing we've been doing, which was creating the shortcuts. And I'm going to make them look like the aesthetic photos up here. So I'm going to go to shortcuts. I don't even know which one I want anymore. What was even down here? Phone. Let's see. Let's put call somebody. No, I don't want to call them. They have starter ones. Text. I don't like that one. I'm going to go to the gallery. All right, so I'm going to add a new one, and it's going to be Google Chrome because I need that one. And that's going to be search in Chrome. Next, we're going to put internet. 
and then done. We're going to edit that because we don't want it to be blue. Three dots, add to home screen, but we're going to change the picture like we've been doing. The same steps, just using different photos. Um, for internet, we will do... Um, oh, what if I do the black down there? Wouldn't that be cool? Or should I do the pink? I'm going to do the black. So for internet, we are going to do um, this. No. Let's do this. No. <laughs> Look. No, I don't like that. Let's do... Um... This photo right here. So we're going to do that for the internet. So I'm going to add. And I'm not going to change this icon up here. That blue one. This one. I mean we might as well right. But you don't have to change this. Because it's not really going to be seen. But I'm just going to do that. Right there. And click done. As we've been doing. So I'm going to take that. And put it down there. And that is my internet. But the thing is, because it's not like, you know, in your home bar, it doesn't have the captions. So I'm not going to really know. It has to be by habit or I really have to know the pictures. But that's fine by me. You can choose something that's more internet. Like if you want to go find like, uh, let's go to Google real quick. If you want to find a black chrome icon or something like that. So you can use that instead of using just a random picture like I'm doing. But anywho, I just wanted to show y'all that. And I'm going to do that for the rest of my other three. And that was it.